الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said None of you should take a bath in stagnant water when he is sexually impure And this was collected in Muslim, Ruahu Muslim In another version in Bukhari None of you should narrate in stagnant water that is not flowing and then take a bath in it Ahabat fillah in these ahadith, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it shows us that the Muslim has to be cautious with how they interact with the environment. And very relevant for us, as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said and gave us this hikmah that we should not urinate in stagnant water and then bathe or make wudu from it. And this, of course, ahabatifillah, is with when there is a, a, a smaller body of water that can be made nudges. Because if there's a big body of water, like if you urinated in the sea, and the sea, of course, is not stagnant, but if it was a big lake, for example, this would not make it nudge, nudges. However, the Muslim should avoid urinating in water in general and especially stagnant water and there's the prohibition of making wudu from stagnant water and in another hadith which we'll look into it shows us gives us more details with regards to making wudu in stagnant water